Welcome everybody to our latest video installment with Coach George Galnovich. Uh, Coach, obviously a tough result for you guys on Friday night playing a man down for much of the game, but uh, just talk about uh, the resolve the team showed, uh, obviously playing 60 minutes down and still uh, coming back with a goal and uh, nearly pulling that one out. Yeah, I mean, it was a very, very good game for us. Um, the, the result wasn't great for us, um, but before we got the red card, um, even though we were goal down before we got the red card, we were playing very well. I mean, we had uh, some really, really good opportunity, opportunity to score, and I felt like the way the game was going, again, this was before we, we went down a man, um, that we were gonna, we were bound to score. We were really getting at them and doing things all, all the right way, and you know, starting the game on our front foot, all that stuff. Um, then they scored against the run of play and really kind of caught us on a transition, but still felt like we were playing well. And then we just, you know, uh, had a lack of concentration and went down a man. And uh, once we got to halftime and were able to get organized a little bit uh, and started the second half, even though we were down a man, we actually had the better of the game. And to our credit, um, you know, scored a goal with nine minutes left. I mean, we had our foot on the gas for, you know, whatever that was, 40, the better part of, you know, 38 minutes, uh, 35 minutes. And then right after we scored, we took our foot off the gas just for one second and they quickly caught us. So a little bit of a disappointing result in that regard, but a lot to build on. So you come back this week, you've got Carolina on the road on Saturday night. Just talk about the challenge that that uh, presents itself. Uh, last regular season yeah. game as well. Yeah. I mean, these last, um, anytime you play Carolina or a ACC game, obviously, but, you know, Carolina is always going to be one of the top teams in the ACC, and it's always going to have the points ramification, the R RPI ramification, you know, all, all the things that go along with it. I think we're uh, 12 in the RPI. I think they're 13. So, you know, it's, it's uh, and then the conference implication with points. Um, so it always has a, a lot of meaning, and it's a rivalry game, and uh, we expect it to be uh, heated and, uh, um, you know, and, and a very good game, uh, like it always is. Tournament also uh, right around the corner now. ACC tournament starts next week. Do you feel good about where the team is, uh, rounding into form, going down the stretch run? I do. You know, we're not much different uh, off from when we were this time last year, you know, um, to be honest with you. Um, the format of the tournament is different, and I think it's it's good. Uh, last year, for example, we had to go on the road in the first round of the ACC tournament on a Tuesday and play Wake and then play Friday, Sunday. Um, so that's well, five days, three games in five days, which is crazy, right? So this format now allows, if we do play the first game in the ACC tournament, it would most likely for us be at home on a Wednesday night, and then we wouldn't have to play again until Sunday, and, it, and, it, and it'll be on the road. Uh, and then you have five-day rest before you would play the semifinal. So it's it's structured much better and, and laid out much better for us. So I do feel good about I do feel good about the ACC tournament. Great, thanks, George. Thank you.